Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video where today we will be discussing the extensive history of Omen Water, and its relation to the niche horror genre that is The Backrooms. So without further ado, let's get started. To start, let's talk about the history of how Omen Water came to be. The company who produced it, Victoria's Kitchen, was founded by the weird French couple Deborah and David Mignon. After creating the company in 2011, they went on to display their product at the 2012 Winter Fancy Food Show. They made an amazing first impression with consumers and later started selling in 800 different stores across a few popular chains. With this newfound success, they realized they had to capitalize on it quickly by appearing in Season 6, Episode 16 of Shark Tank. The Mignons wanted a $200,000 investment for a 20% stake in their company. Not only were they looking to expand at this time, but they were also hoping with investments the Sharks could offer, they would gain a huge jump start with an edge on the competition. To give you an idea on the beverage market around this time period, smaller categories at the time such as tea and energy drinks were starting to see a vast improvement of sales, whereas big companies as, such as Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper were still doing good, but not as great as previous years. When Victoria's Kitchen finally went into Shark Tank, the company was valued at $1 million, but the couple weren't sure if that was enough for a shark to invest. The sharks initially liked the samples they were given, but were more unsure about future plans for the company and the couple itself. With that being said, the couple left the tank without a deal. After the episode aired though, they sold $25,000 worth of products but were limited to their inventory and otherwise would have sold more. David even told Shark Tank Podcast.net that not getting funded was a blessing in disguise because, quote, we were running low on cash and had to rework the budget. We reallocated our capital and went from breaking even to being profitable. That's the biggest win we could have hoped for. And even though they did not get any investments from the Sharks in 2017, the company was acquired by Hispanica International who promised to make Victoria's Kitchen a huge competitor in the beverage market. Nowadays, it is extremely rare to find Victoria's Kitchen almond water as places such as Amazon or Walmart have been sold out and no news to restock soon. Deborah and David have also moved on from their passion of making almond water as well. David now works as Chief Executive Officer at CarParts.com and according to Deborah's LinkedIn page, she now works at Wolcott Architecture Interiors. So even though the almond water venture wasn't the success they were hoping for, they still found fame in the backrooms and a good life for themselves after all. Moving on from the history side of this video and onto the, the actual backrooms, it is not certain who created the idea of almond water being inside the backrooms, but the article on the backrooms wiki dot states that the original author for the entry was 1000 dumplings, so take from that what you will. As to what almond water is in terms of inside the backrooms, it is the main source of hydration and can also be used to repel some entities. According to the wiki.page, page, it is unknown exactly how almond water came to be so abundant, but various ancient texts from the lost suggest that all of the bottles may have suddenly appeared one day through unknown means, though it is always possible that these are just tales and not fact. The Lost is a term used to refer to a group of multiple ancient cultures within the backrooms that have teamed up to build a nation divided into parties. The Lost is the longest going group in the backrooms, seeing more history than any other group has. Almond water is usually found as a group of colored thermoses, found on almost every level of the backrooms. All thermoses are also around one foot tall and typically have dents or scratches in them. They are always filled to the brim with each other, with each thermos holding around two to four cups of almond water. Some levels it, it is not safe to drink almond water, as the drinker can gain symptoms similar to cyanide poisoning. There is no way to tell what levels do this and what don't, nor any way to figure out beforehand. It is safe to always boil your almond water first before drinking it as that gets rid of the effect. Almond water is also very useful for trading and bartering with other groups of wanderers. It is similarly compared to Earth's currency as a single standardized unit, like a euro or a pound. The liquid also has different properties depending on the color of the bottle, with gray being the most common. Other variants consist of the colors green, red, and blue, but for time's sake I will not be diving into the various properties each possess today. Almond water was the first object to be discovered by what would later be called 
team overseer. It was discovered on the first expedition of the Backrooms in late 2011 before the organization called the Meg was established later on. Thank you all for watching the short video essay on Almond Water, from where it was founded to how it was implemented into the Backrooms. I plan to do more video essays like this soon. And if you have any topics related to the backrooms you'd like to see covered, please comment them down below. With all that being said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!